I would like to welcome Shri Abhishek Singh, Additional Secretary, CEO, India AI Mission, DG NIC, Methi Government of India. Please welcome him with a round of applause. Thank you. My senior colleagues on the dais, uh, Chanchal Kumar sir, Dr. Rajendra Kumar sir, Ashok, Ashok sir, my colleague uh, Sita Ramanji from AICT, Sunil Gupta from Yota, who is also a core part of India AI Mission, I must say. It's, uh, first and foremost, I would like to compliment APAC for organizing this summit. In fact, uh, uh, and I must uh, also mention the persistence of uh, Bhashwati Guha when she came up with this idea for doing this, uh, uh, this workshop, this uh, event. Then I said that uh, the only thing that is becoming more prevalent about the buzz on AI is events around AI. And I was asking her, why do we need another event? We have been so many events are going, but she was persistent and APAC was very keen that we do. And then we especially thought since it's the Digital India Week also, the first week of July is uh, the Digital India Week. First July, 10 years back, uh, Digital India program was launched. Honorable Prime Minister wrote a blog also on uh, Digital India and its achievements, the DPI, the AI story a few day, uh, two days back. And therein also he mentioned about uh, what AI can do. So kudos to them for getting this uh, stellar panel. In fact, uh, we have all the elements of what is required for making AI. We have uh, skills, talent uh, coming through AICTE. We have compute coming through uh, Sunil Gupta of Yota. And we have applications, use cases coming from the three secretaries, uh, that senior officers that we have here today. So if we bring together skilling, if we bring together compute, if we bring together applications, use cases, that's what makes AI. And that's what we are trying to do through the AI mission. And if I, I would not repeat because a lot of it has already been said and I know we are running behind schedule. So what I would just like to say is that uh, what does it mean? Like when we say AI for Vixit Bharat, how does it all, whatever we are doing in AI mission, making compute available, accessible at a very low cost, the computers available in India, almost 34,000 GPUs at a cost of, uh, at an end user cost of uh, 65 rupees per GPU hour which is among the lowest in the world. Nowhere else it's available for less than 2.5 to $3 per uh, GPU hour. So that's one part that has been enabled. Another key point is that very often we think that the India's AI, uh, India AI's uh, budget is only $1.2 billion. But if you look at the 34,000 GPUs that we have and a few more thousands coming up in the next few months, it's also an investment of the private sector. And 34,000 GPUs, even of a back of envelope calculation, amounts to almost uh, 15,000 crores, which is almost another $2 billion. So the India's AI is, uh, ecosystem is much more than what the only the government is investing. The industry is an equal partner, and that's what I meant when I say entities like uh, Yota or NTT or E2E or CFE or Controllist, all our impaled partners, they're also part of our India AI ecosystem. So, so that's what uh, adds up to that. But again, Providing compute is one part, providing support to the foundation models that we are building with the company like Sarvam, Socket, Gani, and GAN, and uh, promoting application development. How does it lead to Viksit Bharat? How does it lead to, uh, as uh, Dr. Anindar Kumar mentioned, to become a developed nation by 2047? We need to increase our uh, GDP. We need to increase our per capita income, which matches what, the, what it is for the developed country. So AI can be a great enabler for improving outputs, for improving productivity, for improving incomes of all sections of people at in almost all sectors. We all know how we all are using uh, Gen AI tools. Uh, many of us must be using uh, ChatGPT or Llama or Meta or Grok or Claude in our day-to-day -day work. And what we have realized is that it has made us, in a way, much more efficient. If you have to analyze the 600-page income tax code, and try to see how it impacts us, I would immediately run it through a Gen AI tool, get a summary of that. So I am able to do a lot of research, I am able to do a lot of work that I have to do in much lesser time. My developer team tells me that the code that they used to take longer to write can be done much more efficiently with the tools which are there, Cursor AI and other tools which are there. The writing code has become more efficient. One coder is able to do the job of three coders. So everyone is becoming more efficient. We become more efficient, we become more productive. But how does it translate to end users? How does a farmer benefit, for example? So there also we are seeing multiple applications of AI wherein 
uh, wherein people in all sectors are benefiting. In fact, one example which I saw was like uh, like uh, uh, a farmer using a AI solution with sensors put in his uh, in his field, which is helping him assess the moisture content of the soil, mapping it to the soil health uh, data that is also available, mapping it to the weather data from IMD and the crop history, what crop is growing, what stage of the crop is there. And then he getting a prompt on his phone whether he should operate his submersible pump for two hours or one hour so that he is doing optimum irrigation. So that way the water that is requiring for irrigation is, uh, is uh, optimized and his crop quality is also improved. So he is reducing his input cost and, uh, and uh, improving his uh, uh, income that he can get. Similarly, getting advisories, farm advisories. Uh, there are projects which have been done by Ministry of Agriculture, Government of Maharashtra, other states, wherein farmers can get advisories on their phone in their mother tongue. Like uh, they can ask about what should I do if a crop is having a pesticide or is having a pest or something, what kind of fertilizer he should use, when he should harvest, where he should sell it in the market. So if an agricultural farmer living in the remote area is able to improve his incomes by using these tools that will ultimately him becoming uh, becoming more prosperous, his yield going up, his productivity going up. In fact, there is a project in Baramati district of Maharashtra wherein for sugarcane, similar solution has been used wherein they even use satellite data for mapping how much water is required and there the yield of sugarcane has gone up by 40 to 50 percent. So that's the value that it can add. Now, we, we apply similar, something similar to small businesses. Small businesses can benefit a lot with regard to economizing their inventory cost, uh, ensuring that they are able to get the uh, analyze the market trends, analyze the prices that they are there, analyzing the products that they are selling, and improving their outcomes. In fact, recently at uh, Viva Tech in Paris, I saw a solution in which retailers who are selling uh, products in the, uh, the perishable goods they are using AI. They put cameras which analyze the quality of fruits and vegetables that are being sold and they have price tags uh, which are like digital and depending on the quality of the produce and depending on the sales that they have, they are able to dynamically change prices. So if the produce is being sold more, they increase the prices and if like quality is going down, they reduce the prices so that their inventory cost and their ultimate uh, profitability goes up. We are seeing a lot of usage of AI in, uh, in manufacturing using image recognition for doing quality checks, using uh, uh, using uh, AI for for analyzing uh, uh, analyzing the the product schedules, the delivery schedules, inventory costs. So if, if such applications are built up, ultimately it will not be only about compute and about uh, uh, building foundation models. It will lead to benefits in every sector of the economy. And when that happens, we will be able to improve incomes of the country, of the companies, and also of individuals. And that is what will contribute to Vixit Bharat. Towards that, of course, to reach that objective, we'll have to do a lot more than what we have done so far. We are much behind uh, what US and China is. It will require a whole of, uh, whole of India approach. It will not only be done by government. Metis is just the enabler. Actual work will be done by, by ministries whether it's healthcare, whether it's agriculture, whether it's education, uh, donor ministry, we are getting a lot of support from that. In national security also, there are a lot of applications, drone technologies and uh, using uh, AI for, for, uh, for uh, uh, surveillance uh, at, the, at the border areas. So I see a lot of applications, a lot of use cases in the days to come. We are seeing an increasing number of startups being registered in AI in India which are building AI solutions. We had sent 10 startups under the India AI mission to, to Station F in Paris. They are showcasing their products uh, there. Yesterday they did a demo of their solutions to multiple uh, industry partners, VC funds and all of them expressed a lot of interest in the kind of products that we are building in India. Globally at every forum India's AI strategy, wherein we are subsidizing compute cost, we are providing support to startups, we are building data, the AI coach, the data sets platform, which is again another key in enabler for AI solutions, is being appreciated. But to actually be able to realize our potential, we'll need to put in much more efforts, we'll need to work together, we'll need to bring industry, academia. Uh, I see Professor Ganesh here, his Bharat Gen solution is, is like again setting up new benchmarks. 
So if all of us come together, whether it's industry, whether it's academia, whether it's researchers, startup community and government, we will truly be able to realize our AI potential. We'll truly be able to make AI as a key ingredient as India marches on the path of development, on the path of becoming a Vixit Bharat. So thank you, APAC, and thank you, this whole team for doing this and look forward to working in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for highlighting the efforts that Meeti is undertaking for realizing the vision for Vixit Bharat 2047 by leveraging AI.